What's happening, hoodlum gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old win. And I'm back at y'all with another video. If you've been to the channel, you've been a part of the hoodlum gang, this part ain't for you. But if you're new to the channel and you want to become a part of the hoodlum gang, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, man. It's free. Like the video, leave me a comment down below, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend, hit that notification bell. Go on over to IG and follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. Now, this video I seen circulating last night. Actually, it got sent to me too. <clears throat> but um, it was a video. I guess Big Sad had made a video uh, throwing shots at DW Flame and possibly even Brick Baby. Then it got taken down. But they already had the video over at no jumper clips or whatever no jumper but yeah um so they reacted to it and uh big sad pretty much you know was like yeah my album just dropped and it's this number and uh dw flame just dropped and his didn't chart or whatever the case throwing shots at him talking about all oh, well rap rap didn't work for these dudes so these dudes got to Go to podcast talking about gangbang politics, all this stuff. Just throwing hella shots, homie. And this all stems from him going up there and trying to prove that he didn't snitch. Which, in my opinion, he did snitch. In a lot of people's opinion, he did snitch. You can't be mad at DW Flame for that. So, he was basically like clowning like, yeah, I'm still having success and all that. Now, here's the thing, homie, and D.W. Flame hit it right on the, on the head when he said the majority of the world, or he said half, but I'm going to say the majority, don't care about snitching. They don't care about gangbanging. So they're still going to support that because a lot of them would do the same thing if they was in those shoes. So that's not proving nothing. And of course, a lot of females still going to rock with it. He got a lot of songs for the ladies. They going to rock with it. They don't care about that. Unless they really entrenched in the streets and gangbanging and standing on business. A lot of them don't care about that either. That's just the reality of the situation. So he start going on that ramp, basically saying all that. You know what I mean? And DW Flame like, homie. All I, you talking about politicking about gang politics up here, but you came up here to do the same thing to try to clear your name. At the end of the day, you told, homie. That's just the reality of the situation. You can't get mad at him because you messed up. Yeah, it might have been an accident, whatever the case. You, you, you frantic, whatever. Homie, you told, and it's just that simple. So, uh, basically, you know, like, like he said, he was like, man, that's the first thing rats and, and 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 busters go to is money you know what i mean oh i got more money than you. that's the first thing they do when you start calling them out on their personal flaws and stuff that they do they want to bring up their money to try to deflect from everything like oh i got more money than you that and some of y'all do that in the comments when i speak on people who may be considered more successful than me oh you, you a janitor. Oh, you drive forklifts. All, all this weird shit that has nothing to do with the actual topic, homie. Just because somebody is more successful than you don't mean they don't have flaws. You got these billionaires who was on Epstein's Island and all this weird shit. We can't say nothing because they got money. No, if you foul, you foul, homie. That's all that is. People, people didn't have a million opinions on Trump and the president. You know what I mean? Like, bro. Oh, but he's a billionaire. If you, if, if if somebody doing something you don't like, you can't voice that because they got more money than you. That's how I, you can't even trust people who got that type of mentality, homie, because we already know what type of time they own. They really believe money is above everything over principles, over morals, over loyalty, over family. They really, they really mean that, homie. So if that's your mindset, I don't even care what you have to say, homie, because you could be bought fast. You probably could be bought for a bag of chips and a cheeseburger. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, I'm surprised Big Sad didn't have a bag of chips and a cheeseburger when he was in that interrogation room. But anyways, um, so basically he was just going big on him like, nigga, you, you, all of this, I guess all this stemmed from 
Big Sal was getting into it with one of his homies. And to diss his homie, he dissed his dead brother, which is another one of their homies from their hood. Who I've actually heard Big Sal shout out a gang of times in his songs. He always say R.I.P. to that dude. So that's weird that you would get into it with his brother and then diss his dead brother, which is your homie that you've been shouting out all this time just to get at him. That's weirdo shit. You don't do no shit like that, bro. But that lets you know what type of time niggas is on. You know what I mean? And Big Sad said another thing. He was like, uh, they was like, basically like, how do you separate the artists from what they did? As far as like, a motherfucker being a rat and people still playing their music. Now, me personally, I don't really listen to Big Sad no more. Um, he was definitely one of the top three artists that I bumped when I got in the car. It sucks. He did make good music to me, but I, j I just can't do it. I, now, I ain't going to sit here and say that you wrong if you listen to it because he brought up another good point. He said, we could separate the artist from the person. He said, because I, I still be listening to R. Kelly. And I said, damn, I, I do still listen to R. Kelly, but I don't condone him or his actions. I'm not saying free R. Kelly. I'm I'm not buying his music. I'm not going to a concert if he get out. None of that. Do I slap it from time to time? Yeah. Do I agree with him as a person? No. So I understand that. But I don't necessarily listen to him. I didn't been around recently where people been playing Big Sal or they've been playing O3 Greedo or any of these dudes who did some 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 low-key sketchy shit. And I would be lying to sit here and tell you that I didn't bob my head and I wasn't feeling the song. But am I necessarily just bumping it on a daily like that? No. Because the inner, I understand the person in the entertainment is different, but the thing about R. Kelly is the, the, the content of his music as opposed to these dudes talking about they street individuals and that they don't condone ratting and certain types of behavior and then you turn around and do that. R. Kelly is talking some freaky shit in his music. So, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, he he didn't, he been giving you warning signs this whole damn time. You know what I mean? And that ain't cool, homie. But I'm just saying, when you're a rapper and a gangster rapper at that and you go against that, it kind of kills it for me. Maybe not y'all. But it's just like, come on, homie. Like, I don't even want to hear that shit from you because we already know what you really did. Um... There is a few rappers that I have listened to uh, prior to them doing whatever they did. And I guess that's just how I'd be like, oh, well, uh, he was solid when he made this song. I didn't did it with X-rated and all kind of niggas. Y'all have too. You know what I mean? Am I bumping the new X-rated? No, no, no. But that old shit, I, every now and then I'd be like, ah, man, this is my childhood. I grew up on this. But you foul. And it's just that simple, homie. You foul in, in multiple ways. All of these dudes, Tommy. So I, I got that part. But um, yeah, DW kind of went on a long look. Y'all got to check it out if y'all haven't seen it. He kind of went on a long little rant where he was really getting at him. Like, nigga, your name don't ring more bells in the streets. You Where you be at in your section. Niggas don't even be over there like that. Like, basically, like, you, you hanging out with a small crowd of niggas that you can pay off. But the masses ain't fucking with you no more. And he said he'd be walking around on live with, with 30 sticks in his house. Like, just, you know, just weirdo shit. You know what I mean? Like you said, you don't get no stripes for no shit like that. Like, to the average person who don't know no better, they probably think that's cool. But come on, homie. Like, that, you ain't getting no stripes for that, nigga. You all bad. But um, I don't know why Big Sad decided to take his video down. But like I said, they, they already had the clip. So it don't even matter that he took it down. It's already being addressed. Y'all go check that out. If y'all haven't seen it, come back and let me know. If you have seen it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hoodie from the hood, your friend from that big old win. Until next time, I'm out.